With a food source created beyond the cave potatoes to support life within the cavern, it's time to give the villagers I rescued a home and use some explosives to create emeralds. Creating the first cave village inside of the empire. Hey folks, Whip here and welcome to Empire's SMP season two. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out a ton. I recently passed 1,100,000 subscribers, so thank you all so very much for the support. And a quick shout out to Tofu Rise for the lore bore. In an effort to build a villager trading system today, I also need something to trade with, not you, the villagers, to make some emeralds. For this, I'm thinking stone to stonemasons. Now, I've already got plenty of stone and cobble sorted over here, but that won't last long when the base trade is 20 stone for one emerald. So let's get a little technical today. It's time to create a cobblestone generator. But first, because I gotta leave to gather a bunch of resources, I'm really hoping this splash potion can hit both of these guys. Yes, and yes, perfect. Two more villagers, because we have a stupid nitwit. I ventured south to the desert to gather a load of sand for glass. Thankfully, this was next to a coral reef, so I could grab a few fans too. Putting the miles on the bore, I ventured out to find a swamp to kill some slimes. But I did stop to gather up some hay bales in a village. I finally made it to the swamp, and now we've just gotta, whoa, don't fall. We've just gotta wait for nighttime. Please be big moon, please be big moon. Sorry, Joey, you died. Okay, moon here. Moon here, slimes here, please. Okay, no slimes yet, but there could be slimes if we just keep killing things. I'm definitely not gonna waste an hour to try and get six slime blocks. No, not at all. No, no, that's definitely not what I've been doing. Saw the creepers over here and got really excited by something green, but it's not a slime. Is half moon not slime ready? I don't think it's slime ready. Oh, there's so many mobs. Okay, okay. I think I killed these, I sleep and we just AFK. Slime! Oh, they do exist! Look at the slime! Oh, we at least got some slime balls tonight. Okay, so it is possible. We just gotta keep killing mobs. It'd be really awkward if Shelby logs in because I'm just right here at her house. Oh, maybe she wants that. Can you hold this? No, you don't want to pick up items. Okay. Oh, he picked it, died, and then I killed him. Oh, that's a creeper, not a slime. I thought you were a slime. Oh, and somebody slept. No! Lizzie, no! I still need more slime! My watch continues. The slime survived the night. We can still get one. One whole night and I got seven. I need six blocks. Night two has begun. The moon is bigger. Slime, green, you do. I really wish I had looting of any kind right now. That'd be fantastic. We're at 10 though. We need 54. Oh, this night is so much better already. Oh, another big slime. Yes. Slime. Oh, I'll take this back, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, okay, that's really bad. Potentially just one more big slime and we're all done. And I'm really close to running out of food. Okay, zombies are dead. All the zombies are holding slime balls and I need them <laughs> to not. Ah, there's so many things. And the creeper I'm pretty sure just blew up everything. We need four more. <gasps> oh, 52. Oh, the sun's coming up. Please tell me there's one more slime. Oh, please tell me there's one more slime somewhere. I have to sit here for another night. Oh, no. Let's just meet y'all back at home. This is too much. Just made it home. Still two slime balls shy. But we do have two new villagers. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. And let's hope that... Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, we can make it. Oh, six slime blocks. That was so much pain. Time to get the rest of the materials together. Crafting up a ton of chests, turning some of those into hoppers, and nearly a stack of pistons while growing some more bamboo to create scaffolding. Final bits of glass are smelting away and the rest is in there and all the items I need are in here, except one slime ball. I need six sticky pistons. I've got five slime balls. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I've spent hours getting these materials together and I'm one slime ball shy. I'm just gonna run around in the cave until I find a slime chunk. Might not have found a slime yet, but we got a new axolotl. Don't ask me what happened to the last one. I don't know either. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, ah, slimes, finally. I've been down here for way too long. Okay, we've got all the slime balls we could need. Okay, we can build the thing. Now to make sure this farm actually looks good, I do wanna dye the glass, so I'm gonna roll over to Scott's and see if we can't get some orange dye from him. And here we are. Where is the man? Oh, I see a name tag. There he is. Oh, there's Scott. Hello. I heard I heard you're the man to die for. What, the man to die. Hi. He's friendly, I swear. What is that? He's friendly. Oh my god. It's Pimba from Chavon and Pimba. I heard you're the man to die for. I am the man to die for. How could I serve you in dying for me today? I need I need two stacks of orange dye, please. Okay, what what have you got in return? 
I have some of these because oh. I heard you like the nether stuff. That is perfect. Two seconds. I heard One, these were very two. valuable to you. There we go. Oh, That's thank you. Funny. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Diamond for the house. <gasps> oh, my goodness. See, the house is great. We love the house here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Scott. Glass has finally been dyed, which means we can finally build this farm. Building the farm in the center of the cavern so it can be active regardless of where I am actively working myself inside of the cavern. This design is by Il Mango and produces over 130,000 cobble per hour. So the Goblin Empire is ready to rock after this. Never again will I need to go mining for stone or cobblestone after building this thing. Definitely not like I'm removing them from the cave to bring in other blocks, but I swear it's really important for the development of the Goblin Empire. Look, lore happening for the greater good of of the goblin empire we must create industry and now it's time for the extremely terrifying part that i have really not been looking forward to has this thing that i've spent two hours building does it actually work mostly will the tnt not blow it all up because i don't have any resources to rebuild it uh, okay skeleton let's hope this works the cobblestone's going in and it breaks oh it broke Oh no, it broke. It's all breaking. We lost the slime block. We lost the fan somehow. Oh no. It has been about three hours of troubleshooting and it is finally working, but not all that well. The solution I currently have is I put obsidian right there so this can drop down, but it produces cobblestone and that's okay with me we've almost got five double chests full but i have completely run out of food and i don't currently have a way to get up there to turn it off so let's get some ladders and more potatoes as troublesome as cobblestone might be it doesn't really do much for me i need stone and i want to use lava in order to smelt it so it is time to expand upon our current lava farming setup it's time to take back some of the deep dark and get started This right here should do it. 20 more lava drips ready to go to fuel our future furnace system. I'm gonna add a bunch more in here eventually, but that is definitely large enough for now. Next, I do need a way to get over there. I'm trying to link everything back up, potentially right now to the starter base. Don't get me wrong, I could definitely just walk over there, but what's the fun in that when we can make a minecart rail? Now the zigzag begins to get all the way over. Final step for the rail system, I need to find the full blocks that I placed in, like this guy, and extend up a fence. I'm gonna need a potato before we jump down here for this one because I need to get one more fence right there. Ooh. First, we craft some more fences and let's go really quick. Think I can jump on top? Yep, we're good. Okay, this is the closest I've been working to a shrieker yet. So this is a really good test. No, thank you, zombie. I'm a little busy. A very rickety pathway. Well, support beam but I think it'll work. At first, I might as well use the lava farm and get a little bit of this so we can start storing it for when we need to smelt a bunch. And on the minecart, we're off. Step one of building anything in Minecraft is gonna be getting all of the blocks together. And thankfully, my storage room is still overflowing. With the sugar boxes I acquired from Sausage, I started to load up on everything I could grab out of the storage room. Going with the same theme of lots of spruce, mangrove, oak, and birch for the wood types and adding in plenty of mud bricks here too. One element lacking in Goblin so far is color variety. So in an effort to create a beautiful city here in the cave, I would like to take the green dye, some blue dye, and make some cyan. And crafting up a bunch of cyan concrete. Now I think I want about half of this as concrete itself, the other can stay as powder. The last item I'm gonna need out here is a little bit of cyan wool. This way we can make it look like it's a really messy paint job on the side of a building, which is turning it the cyan color. But I'm not too sure there are any sheep running around at any part of this world anymore. Something tells me a lot here at spawn have been gathered up. Just kidding, we found one. Joel won't mind if it's cyan, right? Yeah. I just need like 10 pieces. Maybe we can find another friend. Nope, not that type of friend, not that type of friend. No, thank you. The cave is so much safer than this. Whoa, spooky skeleton. He's just in the ice. 
spooked me way more than it should have. But I think we've got all of the wool we need. Back to the safety of the cave. Surviving the outside, I now have everything I need. And like a good millennial, I'm staying inside where it's safe. Also, I now have an entire collection of goats back here. Yeah, we'll give them a home soon. Cave goats are definitely a thing. Yep, they'll blend in perfectly here in the Goblin Empire. It's time to build the first Goblin Village settlement right over here should be pretty great so we need a little bit of a temporary walkway and that should do it getting right into the build i decided to time lapse this out as i just got back from my bachelor trip and i'm exhausted so talking and building sounded a little difficult but sleepily building my way through all this i wanted to make the first village into a workshop of sorts with a bunch of different buildings mashed together showing the villagers are kind of living on top of each other and settling close together to stay safe inside of the cavern using a bunch of different materials inside of this so that they didn't blend in too much and it actually kind of stands out against each other with this being the area for stonemasons i also included a giant crane lifting up some stones to showcase this without needing a sign saying this is the stonemasons now i do love me a good sign but we'll add that in later and another little side note here if it looks like i was flying in any of the time lapse footage i don't know what's going on replay mods being a little weird you can see right here i don't even have permission to change game mode so uh trust me on this i use a separate admin account it was done in survival i don't know why it was being weird i do want to bring in some brown carpet on top of here which would be really cool but we got some crazy walkways around and this zombie right here is showcasing what i would like to do next a wall in order to keep all of our future villagers safe i really need to stretch up a giant wall along this using all of their retaining roots and i believe this should work next up however the inside is well um still the cave even extending out the back a lot of these didn't even come all the way down to the ground so i really got to clean this area out so we can actually turn it into a bit of a villager trading room This should be a good enough space to get some villagers inside of here, but I'm nearly out of spruce logs, which means I definitely can't build anything else. So we need a little bit of a detour to go get some more spruce logs and also something very important involving the pigs. Oh, wait, zombie villagers. I saw two of them up there. If we can convert them, that'll be huge. Oh, we don't want him. He's not convertible. Oh, this can be so good. I wonder if I can just lure them across the pathway before they try and eat my other villagers. All right, come on, you two. Don't look at the live villagers. Just keep looking looking at me right to cross the tiny bridge and i'll give you a nice little walkway on the way up here come inside please one at a time yep there we go you go right there in that boat thank you hi buddy come on and you can have this boat well i have two extra boats but that is going to be an awesome addition over there now we have one two three four five and a nitwit he needs a name he's gonna be very special for us but more importantly on the names we've got some boars to name first up the noble steed snort and snort i need you to train this very very intelligent pig over here boris the ambassador of gobland we got a special plan for boris boris is gonna help us secure an alliance very important to the goblin empire now do we have any we got one more brown mushroom okay potion supplies are getting a little low we might have to go visit the witch here soon and i have sugar cane i guess i live in a cave it's kind of hard to get sugarcane but i've got a few growing over here next to the stream and we can get some water bottles one fermented spider eye and we can cure those villagers in a moment crafted up some golden apples with the last little bit of gold that i had and hopefully we only need one potion here does this angle work one for you and one for you yes it does I've added some moss around the entire village. And next up, I'd like to lock in all of this copper at the first stage. Next up on the way out to get a bunch of spruce wood, I'd like to also clean up this section of the roof because wow, has it aged. And you can see where I ran out of the honeycomb from last time. We need to make sure the front entrance to the Goblin Empire is as clean as possible. With that fixed up, I can go on an adventure and chop down a bunch of spruce trees. But seeing as Lizzie now has a massive house, I think I gotta make it to the far side of the mountain. Right to these guys. And that should do it. Hopefully that's enough spruce wood and we can replant the saplings. Soon it'll be like we were never here, besides the fact that I planted the entire forest. Look at me being sustainable. With a bunch of spruce logs acquired, we can pull the crafting table and the stone cutter out of our bundle, plop them down, I already have one of those, never mind. Welcome back to being a villager, my friend. But moving on, as I'd like to start creating a bunch of stalls for where we can have our villagers hanging out. And using some cobble deep slate for the floor, we can make it super simple. 
Now, since the villagers are already cured, I don't really have to worry about curing them again. So they should have cheap trades. So as an example, we could put this guy right here, Acacia Trapdoor right there. And as long as I get a villager inside, he'll never jump out. And so it doesn't look so terrible with this gross ceiling. I really want to be able to come along the base and just fill in some spruce. Then the back wall in here, we can just fill in with some terracotta. So we get a little bit more detail in here. And it looks like something the stonemasons are producing. But still with a little bit of the goblin wand. Now to get the first villager in place. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yep, stone cutter. You love it? No, you really love the stone cutter. Yes. Oh, he's in. And then you can have a new one. And I want this one back. You don't have to hide in the corner. You can stand out here. Yeah, hi. Welcome, welcome. The first tradesman of the Goblin Empire. Now just to fix up the rest of this area. First bits are now filled in and it's looking really good. Now it's time for you to have a brand new home. Taking some precautions. Yeah, I knew you'd try and run that way. Look, there's a nice stone cutter back here. Look at this. It's amazing. Wow. In the way. Yes. Not to jinx myself, this has been the easiest time I've ever had moving villagers. Look at that. Four clay balls for a single emerald. Now, do I have any clay balls? No. There are plenty. Oh, that's so good. Because there's something very important I would like to check right now. If I trade these with you. Oh, that's so nice. 14 stone for one emerald. If we get that thing over there automated, that's, oh, that's unlimited stone, unlimited emeralds. If we get that on every single one of these, major stonks. And with that, I finished up the entire villager trading hall that we have over here for stonemasons, which we will be able to bring in a bunch more as I locate some more of the zombie villagers in the cavern. In the new boat, please, sir. Thank you. Don't you keep closing the door? Yeah, in there. An emerald, an emerald, oh my god, an emerald. Ah, get the emerald. No? No. Aha, first villager's in. Go inside, you can do it, you're so, yes. Welcome home. Let's just buy some bricks to lock them in. Before I finish decorating our new village over there, I want to add in some boats along the edge of my render distance. Well, along the edge of where mobs will spawn in to see if we could maybe catch a few more zombie villagers in boats. I'm trying to not build a villager breeder, so I think this could be the really fun way to acquire all of our villagers. I'll probably end up mostly catching creepers, but if this works, it's gonna be a five head play. With these less, structural support ladders definitely in very important positions throughout the trading hall this is completely safe and secure as safety is our number one concern here in Gobland. and these villagers should be definitely safe next i would like to fix up this bridge a little bit further as it's kind of gross so i'm thinking we strengthen it a bit and maybe slide it over here two lines of logs going across so we can run a minecart throughout here and also have some footpath clearing out the old one and for the curve underneath Underneath, the middle is about right here. If we do that, that full block, slab, and a stair, then from here we can bring these all the way down. But a little goblin wonkiness. Now on the other side, we can continue along with the same pattern, with all of the spruce logs coming all the way down to the ground. We should be getting something in the trap soon as mobs are definitely spawning over there, but we'll focus on the bridge for now. Where we can just run some slabs right down the middle, crafting up a ton of mangrove trap doors. We can place them along the edge like this. A few chains with lanterns hanging down here at the base should be able to finish this one off just enough. And I think that is gonna, nope, I can't. I want it to be asymmetrical and I can't do it. Much better, much, much better. Still a little off, but it doesn't hurt my brain now. Ooh, zombie. <laughs> Now I've been thinking about the pathway for the Goblin Empire and I don't want to do cobblestone because I think it blends in too much. So instead, I'm thinking we just start bringing in some cobbled deep slate so it stands out a touch more here in the cavern. I'll replace more of the cavern floor as we go down this way, but for now I want to get the path set up connecting into the new village. And there we have it, a nice little pathway to get up into the village. Now, I know earlier I said I didn't need a giant sign to show what we were doing over there, but I've been thinking about it. A giant sign could be very cool. And I've got just the idea how to make it perfectly flashy. To make big sign happen, I need a lot of materials, starting with 90 observers. 
which we've got the quartz for and i think we got the redstone dust for 64 and 34 there we go 98 observers next up we need 37 redstone lamps i have two glowstone dust and two glowstone off to the nether we go i don't see this going poorly at all This is definitely not a safe working environment, but let's get the glowstone and get out. And there we go, 37 redstone lamps. For the final step, I would like to get my hands on 64 grindstones. Thankfully, we've got a lot of logs, so we can make it happen pretty easy. Gathering up all of this aged copper, and we are ready to go. I'm building up the brand new sign, the big sign. The new business center is now operational. As people venture along the minecart track to the skeleton spotter, they can't miss this very well-placed advertisement to the Grand Stonemason Villager Trading Hall. No, oh, that actually looks really good. The five stonemasons I currently have is not going to cut it, especially when we have this massive flashy sign up there so i need to meet up with the resident witch on the server shelby to buy some potions off her and i sell rocks i currently have some copper smelting away so we can take some smelted instead of just raw and outside of that i need to go to the nether because i would like to take some basalt with me too which yep there it is over that way no 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 no, no stupid pig and we made it now to just gather up some basalt Plenty of basalt acquired and some more that I can take home. Back in the base where we got the basalt in and I'm thinking we take out the copper and put in cobblestone. So this is truly the rocks. And I can clear out this box and it can turn into our copper box. Time to take our traveling sales box, grab snort, and we're off on an adventure. But now for the long journey down to the swamp. We finally made it to the mangrove swamp and there it is, the giant mushroom. I believe this is a potion shop, hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, I, I need I need potion shop services. <gasps> a customer. Come in, come <laughs> in. What can I do for you? I need potions of weakness. Well, splash potions of weakness. Oh, are you curing dead people too? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I can definitely make those. And I, being the cave empire of Goblin, I have rocks. I, I bring I bring wares if you have potions. All right, yeah, these diorite rocks look pretty good. These copper rocks look pretty good. Let me just get some ingredients together from up here. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be good. <gasps> I wanna make sure I don't right click these. Six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome, thank you so much. And how many rocks would you like? I got plenty. Can I get a stock, a stack of copper and maybe two stacks of diorite? Yeah, go right ahead. Pick your favorites. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Is that all you needed? Actually, my, my neighbor, who is a good friend of mine, he recently moved into the sky and I can't really get to him anymore. Do you have any potions oh. that would help with getting to the sky? Uh, yeah, let me, let me mix something up. Do you by chance I'm lend out you. your hat as a parachute? No, no, no. A witch's hat no. is very personal to a witch. Oh, they can't sorry, give it to sorry, somebody sorry, else. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah, you know, it's okay. You, you didn't know. You didn't mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. um, this might work. Oh. Huh. Do I look any different? Did it? Can I oh. jump now? Do I just like super jump? Is that is that what's going um, on? You know, you did get a little bit more height. I get you, taller? Not... I'm taller now? You know, yeah. You you did get a little taller. Mostly oh. in oh. Um, oh, yeah. the ear department yeah mm. oh i heard that oh that's really loud oh that's really loud <gasps> is your hearing better that oh. is not what that was supposed to do oh i um, got i have superpowers now i can hear everything so you're not mad i, th I think i can i think i can make it work oh, oh. oh man sorry i didn't uh give you the power to fly or jump yeah. but hey uh, i'm taller i am taller now look at me i'm taller. yeah that's like at least another inch well thank you so and very I'm, much yeah. shelby i appreciate it and um i'll just i gotta go find my way home back at home now and i can hear everything in the cave what's that oh look the traps have been working and ain't just just creepers whoa we got two more creepers up here huh the traps are working we just gotta wait for him to catch the right thing lizzie is finally online which means we can get boris ready to go and to make sure he's looking nice 
Let's make sure he's wearing a saddle. All right, Boris, you've got a very important job to do. Make sure you've got your biggest smile on. You're looking so cute. And help us create a very strong alliance between our empires. Just right down the street, buddy. You can still see home from there. Let's see if anybody's home. We got to introduce you. Whip. Hi, how's it going? Neighbor? What is going on right here? This is Boris. What is that? <gasps> this is Boris. He is an ambassador of Gobland. Oh, my and gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, uh, Boris, no. Boris. What, what brings you to my empire? Well, I thought because we're neighbors and, you know, we've already got a good little alliance going on already. Boris here could help to uh, reinforce the alliance and help, you know, have trade negotiations and everything that an ambassador does. Wait. Boris is mine? Yes, I would like Boris to live here if that's okay. Can I can I ride Boris? Of, of course, of course. Oh my gosh. How do I look? Fantastic. And let's see. He's fast! Wow! Oh, he's so quick! This is gonna be so good for my empire. Thank you, Fwip. Of course, of course. Here are the leads. Take care of Boris. Oh. Boris is off to his new home and he's gonna do great for us. And I still can't get over these ears. I love them so much. <laughs> But we've got a brand new village over here. Thank you all so very much for watching today because that's going to have to do it here. My friends, be sure to leave a like if you have not already. Subscribe if you're new. But with that, my friends, I'll catch you all on the flip side.